What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about the odds of Green Goblin being in Marvel Spider-Man 2 and why I don't think it's as low as some people think it is. Um, now, I do want to start this off by saying one very, very important thing. I actually am very much on the side of people that want Insomniac to wait until Spider-Man 3 for Green Goblin. So that's a very important thing. I guess I'm arguing for the idea that it could happen here. I think the likelihood is higher than we think it is, but not that I necessarily want it. I do like the idea of waiting for the third game, probably heavily tease it, maybe even end on it, right? Like an end credits thing where you end on like the mask or, you know, just the outfit in general, a laugh or something like that. And then that's like the entirety of Spider-Man 3. I like that idea. I think it sounds cool. I can picture it in my head and it looks cool and I'm all for it. But I was replaying Marvel Spider-Man 2018. I actually did a, a video on my third channel, Back to the Past. I'll leave a link below if you guys want to watch that. And I really tried to pay attention to the story beats so I could do a video like this, right? Like, how did they arrange the story? When were they setting up characters in Spider-Man 2018? And one of the most interesting things about it is... Doc Ock is there, but he's definitely not pushed at you as the primary villain until very, very late, like much later, even than I like thought it was, you know, I was trying to replay the game in my head and try to figure out, okay, well, what mission, you know, does it kind of come into view that he is the villain? It's towards the second half for sure, the second half of the game, and really so much of this game is spent on, I guess, really establishing characters, although it's, you know, multiple years into Spider-Man, you know, being Spider-Man, you have the Wilson Fisk's of the world, and Mr. Negative, though, really is that primary villain. Doc Ock is right there, and you know that you're working on the mechanical arm and, and literally his extensions that he's going to have later. Like, you know that, you see that, but they very much set it up where it's like he could be set up to then be in the next game. He could be the villain of the next game. I even remember I was starting to see tweets about it. You go back to when they were showing off the game and that classic, you know, the raft mission where you're fighting the Sinister or six and the cutscene where Spider-Man gets you know completely beat up and he's crawling to the edge and obviously that's Doc Ock who comes up right in the game but if you watch that back and you watch any of that like pre-release footage they really make it actually seem like it's going to be Green Goblin and so well what's the point here well they really stayed away from the Doc Ock pushing in the first game leading into the first game and then even when the game starts again he's there but Mr. Negative is really thrust at you as the primary villain they want you to think that it's him and really I guess in percentage wise it is him he is by percent the biggest villain in that game but Doc Ock obviously becomes kind of like the ultimate villain so let's fast forward to Marvel Spider-Man 2 right right now we I feel like we have maybe even less info than we did for Spider-Man 2018 but that could just be the way I'm looking at I could be looking at it wrong. You know, obviously we have Craven and we have Venom. And Venom and the symbiote are such a huge part of this game. But who's to say? Who Who is actually to say that that is the entirety of the game? Well, they spend 10, 12, 15 hours on like the main storylines, right? Will that be half Craven and half Venom? Will Craven kind of come in? Will then he leave? Will the symbiote attach to him and maybe he's at the end? Will he come? Will you do Venom in the middle of the game? Will Craven come back for the end? Will it be reversed? Will the symbiote? be the beginning of the game then Craven comes in then Venom what we you know know of as Venom Venom comes in at the end you could do that and I mean that's very possible to be what happens where it's just those two they split it up maybe not even 50 50 again maybe it's like a third here then somebody comes in for 20 percent then somebody else comes back or obviously with the symbiote jumping around you have even more possibilities right because going on Peter well now suddenly that's probably an arc and that's probably a thing where Miles has to fight Peter but I guess where I'm getting at is, is that it? And I'm not saying that's a bad thing. Again, don't forget, I'm just talking about the possibility, not necessarily if it's good or bad. Again, I prefer that they wait for three, but one of the things that you realize with 2018 is how much they were juggling. And I would actually say upon replaying it like two weeks ago, that's a negative. I think there's actually way too much going on, too many characters, too many introductions. Yes, again, in that world, he's been Spider-Man for so long, but there's just so much coming at you. And I feel like it would have benefited from being a, a bit simpler. So I actually would prefer 
two villains, Craven, Venom, the symbiote obviously, you know, being a part of it. If you want to like reintroduce Black Cat, that's like a side thing. Obviously like Yuri, right? Wraith, like you have that kind of going on. Maybe that's a side thing like a Wilson Fisk like thing in the first game. You know, if they do it like that, I think that's fine. If you start to like overload it, which Green Goblin actually could overload it, um you'd be really replicating the first game, but you know what? Reverse psychology. They did it once. Who's to say they can't do it again? Specifically with that big twist. Again, like Doc Ock was not pushed whatsoever as the main primary villain of the game. And again, by percentage, he's not, but like ultimate, like final villain, final boss fight, these big epic moments, it was actually him. It wasn't Mr. Negative. So when you go into the second game, yes, Venom is being billed, and I don't doubt that the role is going to be big. I think that role is going to be big. Uh, Craven, I think that's going to be a really big thing as well. But is there a third one? And I think it's honestly possible. Now, here's the, the final kind of twist doesn't have to be Green Goblin, right? The final thing could actually be Yuri. It could just be Wraith because she was such a big part of the game and obviously the DLC kind of transforming her and that's such a huge thing that do you let that go? Do you let it be a side thing in this game or are they kind of deflecting where it's actually going to be a huge thing and they're just not talking about it, right? So maybe there is more than Craven and Venom. It's just Wraith or it's maybe Black Cat has like a 20% arc and that takes up the you know 20% of the game. It doesn't have to be Green Goblin, but it's possible. Oh, let me th actually throw in one final, final twist. Could be Doc Ock again, right? Because, you know, he is still around. The Sinister Six is still around, all locked up and all that. And obviously, with the Craven uh, trailer that we got, like, we know that those villains are there and maybe they're going to play with them again. Like, does Doc Ock break out? The idea that he knows that Peter is Spider Man, right? Does that come back around? There's plenty of ways of it going beyond Craven and Venom. I guess Green Goblin doesn't have to be the third. And again, I'm not, I don't even necessarily want him to be the third, but it is definitely possible. So let me know what you think in the comments. Do you think they'll tease him at the end? You know, what kind of role do you think Norman, because you have to imagine with Harry, Norman is going to be a huge role, even if he's not Green Goblin, or if Harry does the Green Goblin kind of arc, whatever ends up happening. Let me know what you think in the comments. Make sure you're subscribed, bell icon turned on. If you want to follow me or support me anywhere else, all my links are in the description below, again, including my third channel, Back to the Past. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you all on the next one.